Yo guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to another episode of me trying to grow a ten dollar account into a thousand dollar account. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Welcome to the series, guys. And um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Balo Trade. I document my journey to become a successful product trader on YouTube. So why not follow both journeys of me trying to flip, of me trying to grow ten dollars, and me trying to become successful in this industry? I'm saying so. I'd appreciate if you subscribe, like, comment down below what you want to see on this channel. And I'm yeah, man. Let's get it. So yeah, man. I'm. Um, I'll be trying to grow a hundred dollars. I mean, ten dollars into a thousand dollars. So I'm yet to take a trade, and I'm. I've kind of entered this challenge with a, mind, a proper mindset. And I'm saying, not trying to get those quick gains. And I'm saying, just step by step. Hence, I have a game plan. If you're unfamiliar with my game plan, I'll play the clip right now. So the game plan is as follows. Firstly, I'll need to grow ten dollars into a hundred dollars. Then I'll take that $100 and purchase a TFF 10k challenge which will cost me around $95 but because I'll be using my 10% off discount code I'll end up paying $85. Links will be in the description. After receiving my 10k challenge account I'll obviously need to pass phase 1 and phase 2. After receiving my 10k challenge account I'll obviously need to make 10% so I can receive my $1000 payout. Then after that is done then the challenge is completely over yeah guys so that was my game plan that is the game plan that i'll be using throughout this challenge you know what i'm saying so as easy as it looks it might be simple but i don't think it's easy you know what i'm saying so yeah man i'm still yet to take a trade i haven't took a trade because last week was the first episode which was just me depositing the funds that was it from this week i'll be trying to take a trade if i see an opportunity in the market you know what i'm saying so yeah man uh right now i just woke up well i just woke up like 30 minutes ago and i'm still charging my laptop and um sooner or later i'm gonna be analyzing the markets to see if i see any opportunity so yeah man just for the record today is monday and um what i have planned for today i'm supposed to go to the gym but i'm not going there because my leg is messed up and um, i have to go and come back from the gym walking you know what i'm saying so my leg right now is busted, so I'm not going to the gym. I'm just gonna trade the whole day if I see the opportunity, of course. And I'm, um, yeah, man. I'm um, right now. I'm just gonna analyze the market and I'm um, tell you guys what I see. So, peace. Okay, so guys, I'm done analyzing and I'm looking at two pairs for now. Um, as you can see, CW basically means close watch for me. Then NTD means need time to develop. So I'm on close watch. I have currently team pairs actually, which gives me an extra confluence. You know what I'm saying? So we have, um, let me just change this. So we have AUD, JPY, as you can see, and you have nzd jpy you know and i'm saying so let me just explain quickly what i'm seeing so let's start off on aud jpy so uh now let's start off on nzd jpy so let's go to the four hourly time frame so as you can see on the four hour time frame we had liquidity sitting above these highs right here as you can see for those of you who know liquidity moves the market right so we had this liquidity sitting above then we came to that uh, uh, uh um volume zone then we tapped that volume and you get to see by the wake by the four hour wake then scaling down to the one hour uh we have that uh impulsive move to the downside as you can see we have that impulsive move to the downside as you can see so right now i'm just looking for continuations um yeah i mean i'm just looking for continuations i'm just looking for price to tap in this zone then i'll be i'll be sure to sell the market same thing with the AUD gpy i'm just looking for price to um just looking for price to tap the zone then you know sell the market so right now all you need to do right now is to stay patient and um yeah man i will inform you guys if i take a trade or a position so yeah man so guys i just entered a buy stop on a euro aud 
um reason being let's start off on a one hour as you can see on the one hour time frame price came into this area of value right then it pierced through then went back up impulsively right so we could be heading to these highs right here right so but that is that's just that is just the speculation so uh right now i was looking for a continuation which i got in the five minute as you can see this is the setup i usually take it and it's it's it's, it's profitable speaking from experience and as you can see we left this low right here price came into that low went through so i'm putting i put my buy stop right here so when price uh impulse up it taps me in so yeah man i'll tell you guys when i'm tapped in the trade a few minutes later and i just got tapped in as we speak i just got tapped in as we speak so right now guys we'll be playing the patient game i'm saying so yeah i mean um i've honestly accepted all outcomes from this trade i'm trying to not be attached from the trade i'm saying so yeah man it's a psychological trick that i use i'm saying as soon as i deposit the funds into my broker i immediately i immediately think okay this is not my money anymore i'm saying so that's the kind of mindset that i've put myself through and i'm saying it's been helping me so far so yeah man right now we're playing the patient game let's get it Yo guys, so we back now and um as you could see we had our first loss of the challenge and um yeah man this kind of things happen you know what I'm saying so I think I'm on I'm down to two dollars and something cents so right now I'm on seven dollars and something cents so yeah man uh right now I just placed my well not now but then like two hours back I placed my order on AUDGPY, but then I wasn't tapped in, so I cancelled the trade. And I'm, um, I don't think there's gonna be further trades for today. So right now I'm just gonna probably read or go watch TV or something. So yeah, man, peace. Yo guys, so welcome to the next day. It's it's Tuesday today, and um, I was just analyzing the market and I saw. I sell setup on AUD JPY and um I've just executed the trade. I'm in the trade right now as we speak. And I'm um, yeah man. Uh yesterday as you guys saw we caught our first loss. And um yeah man, that really told me to be humble. I'm saying because I entered two trades at the same time on the same pay, which I never do. I'm saying so right now I'm just playing it how I used to play it, and I'm saying so I just entered a sell on AUD JPY and um I'm not really hoping for the best because I'm just following my plan. I'm saying if I'm saying I'm hoping it's something that's not needed in the market. Hope hope is gonna kill us guys. I'm saying so yeah man I just entered a sell and um right now we wait. Guys and by the way this is just the SGT volume PSE model. Uh this is just like the rules that I basically follow, like the basis of the strategy that I need to look for, you know what I'm saying? So volume it's built or triggered, PSE model positioning sequence and entry. Why the stop loss? I don't wanna put uh tight stop losses and keep it systematic and always forecast three moves plus and um signal and confirmation model. This is what I use on my strategy. So yeah, I mean I'll be considering this before I enter trade. And I'm um, as you can see, 
just enter the trade ratio and i'm right now you playing the patient game all right so it's been a minute since i've opened my laptop as you can see i was just charging it and i'm on a bed right now just woke up from a nap let me just put in my password real quick all right so uh, it's been playing around my entry before i close my laptop right now i just want to see what's up as you can see it's still pushing up it's still in brought down you can see almost tap me out so i'm update you guys on this trade on the next video as you can see i took it on the one hour so i don't think it's gonna play out the way i planned but then yeah i mean wait and see and um yeah guys hope you really enjoyed the video as you can see the ups and downs of trading but yeah man we keep pushing forward so yeah man thanks for watching just dream